check it I got a brand new cam, it's the Insta360 X4 damn Shooting 8K, making memories so fly 360 degrees, see the whole world right I'm catching light from every single angle No need to miss a moment, just point shoot Zoom in, zoom out, it's all up to you 360 resolution, nothing else will do Insta360 X4, bringing life to your frame Capturing moments you won't ever take Get ready to see the world like never before In 360 degrees we're gonna soar Here's how to film and edit 5 of my most favorite 8K 360 shots using the Insta360 X4. So let's get started. First, let's get your X4 out of the box and ready to use. Open the X4 box. Remove all the plastic packaging from the X4. And place the X4 back in the box for safekeeping. Remove the white box and open it up. In here you will find a carry case. In the carry case you will find two accessories the cleaning cloth to clean the X4 lenses, and a Type-C to C USB cable to charge the X4 and transfer files between your X4 and computer. Store the cleaning cloth in the side pocket. The X4 lens cap is another great way to protect the lenses, but this is an additional purchase. Remove the inner white box. Here you will find the standard lens guard. This will protect your lenses from accidents when filming, but it will also reduce the video quality. And you will also find documentation and stickers. Let's set up the micro SD card. The micro SD card I recommend for the X4 is the Sandisk Extreme Pro 1TB V30 micro SD card. It will let you record up to 10 hours and 25 minutes of 8K 30 frames per second video. To insert the micro SD card, pinch the two clips on the battery to remove it. Insert the micro SD card and push it into place with your fingernail until it clicks into place. Insert the battery and make sure both clips click into place. Let's fully charge the X4. To charge the X4, grab your Type-C USB cable, open the USB side door and connect one end of the cable. Connect the other end of the cable into a Type-C USB plug. Insert the plug into a socket and switch it on. The X4 LED will light up red to show it's charging. When the X4 finishes charging, then the LED will switch off. Let's connect the X4 to the Insta360 app. To connect the X4 to the Insta360 app, go to the App Store, search for Insta360, tap the Insta360 app and download it. Make sure Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is switched on. Open the Insta360 app. Turn on the X4. Agree to the terms and conditions. Tap yes. Enable Bluetooth. Album. Local network. And tap go to app. Tap connect. Tap confirm on the X4. Tap join. And now the X4 is connected to the Insta360 app. Let's set up the Insta360 app. Go to settings, turn off hovering help button. Scroll down and turn off shot on watermark. If the X4 does not connect, then try this method instead. Another way to connect the X4 to the Insta360 app is to go to Wi-Fi settings. Make sure the X4 is turned on. Tap the X4 Wi-Fi hotspot, enter the password, which is the number 8, 8 times, tap join. Go to the Insta360 app and now the X4 is connected. Let's finish setting up the micro SD card. To finish setting up the micro SD card, go to settings, SD card, format, confirm. And now the micro SD card is ready to use. If you are new to 360 cameras, then I highly recommend you install the lens guard because this will protect your X4 from accidental damage. To install the standard lens guard, use the lens cloth to clean both lenses. Open the lens guard package. Screw the lens guard onto the X4 lens clockwise until it holds into place. Repeat the same process for the rear lens and wipe the lens guard with the cleaning cloth to remove the fingerprints and smudges. Now the standard lens guard is installed and ready to use.
Let's set the best settings and the settings I recommend will give you the best done for you video results so you can spend less time editing and more time creating. Always use standard 360 video mode for the best video quality. Never use active HDR video mode. Use 8K 30 frames per second during the day. Go to exposure settings and change the color profile to vivid for the best looking colors straight out of the camera. Then go to settings, image settings and change the sharpness to medium so you don't need to add any sharpening in editing. Settings are done, now let's focus on creating. The sequence you saw at the beginning of this video was made up of five shots. Shot number one is follow. For this shot, I am using the Insta360 three meter extended selfie stick, filming in standard 360 video mode at 8K 30 frames per second. To capture this shot, I fully extended the selfie stick and rested it on my shoulder behind me. To edit the shot, I will position myself in the center of the frame and add a keyframe. Then I will go to the end of the shot, position myself in the center of the frame and add a keyframe. And now when I play it back, you have a follow shot. Shot number two is selfie. For this shot, I am using the Best360 150cm selfie stick, filming in standard 360 video mode at 8K 30 frames per second. To capture the shot, I extended the selfie stick in front of me and kept the X4 at my shoulder height. To edit the shot, I will position myself in the center of the frame and add a keyframe. Go to rotate and change the rotation to minus 45 degrees, then go to the end of the shot and add a keyframe. Change the rotation to plus 20 degrees. And now when I play it back, you have a selfie shot. Shot number three is fake drone. For this shot, I am using a combination of the Best360 Monopod Pro tripod legs and counterweight and the Insta360 three meter extended selfie stick. The cool thing about these tripod legs is that it can extend from 20 centimeters to 32 centimeters long, creating a super wide and sturdy base. I filmed in standard 360 video mode at 8K 30 frames per second. To capture the shot, I put the monopod on a bench to gain some more height. I opened the tripod legs to create a more stable base and then I fully extended the selfie stick. To edit the shot, I will put myself in the center of the frame and add a keyframe. I will move forward in the timeline, center myself in the frame and add a keyframe. I will move forward again in the timeline, center myself in the frame and add a keyframe. When I walk behind the tree, I will add a keyframe. And I will go to the end of the timeline, center myself in the frame and add a keyframe. Then I will move back to the beginning of the timeline. I will go to speed, section speed. I will select 16x speed. I will add the section speed from the beginning of the shot till I have walked halfway into the church. I will leave half a second at normal speed then I will add a new section speed just before I go around the tree. Leave half a second at normal speed. Then I will add a new section speed just before the end of the shot and leave the last half second at normal speed. Turn on motion ND for the speedy look. And now when I play it back, it looks like a drone shot. Shot number four is time shift. For this shot, I am using the Best360 selfie stick, filming in standard 360 video mode at 8K, 30 frames per second. To capture the shot, I extended the selfie stick above my head to get a clear 360 view, and then I walked for at least two to 10 minutes. To edit this shot, first I will add speed. Add 32X speed. Tap the tick to confirm. Turn on motion ND for the speedy look. I will put tower bridge in the center of the frame and add a keyframe. Now I will scroll forward carefully in the timeline and add keyframes in the direction I want to look. Next I will add a keyframe looking at the river Thames. I will use D-Warp to get rid of fisheye distortion. I will move forward in the timeline, keep looking at the river Thames and add a keyframe. I will add a keyframe here to keep looking at the river Thames. Here I want to look up at tower bridge and add a keyframe. I will look up at the tower in this direction and add a keyframe. 
Here I will look back at Tower Bridge and add a keyframe. At the end of the shot, I will put Tower Bridge in the center of the frame and add a keyframe. If I play this back, you now have a time shift shot. Export the shot to see the final result with motion blur. Shot number five is time lapse. For this shot, I am using the Best 360 Monopod Pro, filming in time lapse 360 video mode at 11K 30 frames per second with the interval set to five seconds. To capture the shot, I placed the monopod on a flat surface and then I left the X4 to record 20 minutes of time lapse, which would give me a 10 second video overall. To edit this shot, I will go to speed and add 4x speed. Tap the tick to confirm. At the beginning of the shot, add a keyframe. Use the D-Warp field of view to get rid of fisheye distortion. I will start the time lapse on the left hand side. Tap update keyframe to save this view. Then at the end of the shot, Pan the view to the right to reveal the Millennium Bridge and add a keyframe. And now when I play it back, you have a time-lapse shot. Let's save the video to your phone album so you can share your video to social media. To export your video with the highest video quality possible, go to Export. Tap Custom. Select the highest resolution. Select the highest bitrate. Tap Export. And that's it. Finally, let me show you how to vlog with the X4. Personally, I am not a fan of complicated or bulky setups, so I will not be using an external microphone. Instead, I will rely on the X4 internal microphones and the Insta360 Mic Wind Muff accessory to reduce the wind noise. Open the Mic Wind Muff accessory. There are two parts. The first part is sticky and Velcro. The sticky side sticks onto the X4 mic. The microphone should be visible through the hole. Do the same for the other side. The second part is the mic wind muff and velcro. Attach the two velcro parts together. Press it down firmly so it stays in place. And now the mic wind muff is installed. The last step is to go to audio settings and switch to stereo mode for the best audio quality. To show you how good the X4 internal microphones really are, the rest of this video is going to be filmed with the X4 in 8K using the internal microphones. Six years ago, I bought the Insta360 Pro 8K360 camera for three and a half thousand pounds, and it was quite big and really long to set up. But today, you can buy a pocket-sized 8K360 camera for only 500 pounds. I did not expect the X4 to be priced this low, so I think this is going to be a really hot seller. The best place to buy the X4 is either directly from the Insta360 store or on Amazon. So I'll leave those links in the video description. Honestly, I think the X4 is the best 360 camera ever made. The 8K footage looks absolutely stunning and the 8K is absolutely flawless to edit in the Insta360 app. There's no lag, it just works. You can use the X4 to capture adventures, vlog like I'm doing right now, and to capture immersive 360 video for VR headsets. I will be creating more X4 tutorials in the future, so subscribe to the channel and let's master the X4 together.